Neck pain in swimming is very, very common due to the amount of times you have to turn your head to breathe. There's a number of different ways that we can prevent this. Um, probably the best way is to do some bilateral breathing. So breathing both sides. The other way is, is to limit how many times that you breathe. So breathing on four or six strokes as opposed to every two strokes. Just the, the sheer nature of turning your head a certain amount of times will cause those muscles to tighten up um, and the muscles on the opposite side to get stretched and weakened. So we can actually get a stiff neck as well as a painful neck. Some stretching activities to do before you swim to stop it from actually cramping up and getting stiff as well as after we get out of the water when the neck will be quite tight. First one is we're just tilting our head down to the side pulling across on the neck and we'll feel a stretch down through the side of the shoulder. We're going to hold that stretch for 30 seconds and probably repeat three times. The second stretch that we do we call smelling our own armpit. Exactly the same, we pull our head across down to our armpit and again we're going to feel the stretch down the side of the neck but slightly more biased towards the back of the head. Now these stretches can be done before you get in the water to prevent some neck pain and stiffness as well as after you get out of the pool or, or the ocean um, if you have already got some neck tightness and stiffness from that swim.